Algebra 1, number 5.2a. In this unit, we're going to be talking about the power rules of exponents. And the first one is, we're going to talk about raising a power to a power. The first thing we need to be aware of when raising a power to a power, and remember, when we say a power, we mean an exponent. So 2 is raised to the third power. So when we raise a power to a power, because now there's an exponent on the outside of the parentheses, it's the difference between an exponent on the inside or the outside of the parentheses. So this one is just raised to a power. And this a is just raised to the third power. And this 2 is raised to the third power, and that a is raised to the third power. But this a is raised to the third power, which is raised to the second power. So that's the power of a power, see? That would be raising a power to a power, all right? So that's what we're doing. So let's take a look at this first one. We have learned in the last few videos that 2 to the third power just means 2 times 2 times 2. There's three 2's. If we see 2a to the third power, we have to remember that it only affects the number or the variable that it's next to. So this means 2 times a times a times a. It only affects the a, see? When we see 2 to the third power and a to the third power, then it does mean that they're both to the third power. So that would be 2 times 2 times 2 and a times a times a. We could do it easier by just putting them in parentheses and putting the 3 on the outside. It means the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2, a times a times a. See? We could give them both the third power, or we could just put them in parentheses and put the third power on the outside. See? It would be like there's a little invisible 1 here for each one of them. See? When we have 2a to the third power raised to the second power, now there's a power on the outside. What it means is 2, because remember, 2a to the third power is 2 times a times a times a, but then we do it twice. So we got 2 times a times a times a, and we do it again, 2 times a times a times a. So it means we've got this two times. It would be the same thing as if we just multiplied this 3 times the 2 and this 2 times the 2, see? Because there's an invisible 1 kind of there. So we would distribute this to this one and this to this one, see? Like they would each get multiplied by that exponent, see? 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6. So when we look at 2 times a times a times a times 2 times a times a times a, it's just two of these, We've got 2 to the second power when we simplify it, and we've got 3 6 a's, so it's a to the sixth power, see? The exponent only affects the variable or number it's next to, and exponents outside the parentheses get distributed to each value, each number or variable on the inside of the parentheses, okay? So just remember the importance of the inside versus the outside, okay? and that the ones that are on the inside can be multiplied to the one on the outside, and that if you don't see an exponent, there's really an invisible one there that we can multiply by that exponent, okay? So let's take a look at this one. We got five to the second power to the third power. That means we've got five to the second power times five to the second power times five to the second power. It means we got three of them. It would be the same thing as saying five times five times five times five times 5 times 5. See? This is that one, this is that one, and this is that one. Well, it's also the same thing as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them, 5 to the 6th power. So it's the same as if we just multiplied the exponents 2 times 3. Isn't that quicker than having to figure out how many 5's there are? We could have just done 2 times 3 and had 5 to the 6th power. The first power rule for exponents allows us to multiply exponents inside parentheses to exponents outside parentheses. So here's the formal raising a power to a power. This is the first power rule for exponents because there's three of them, okay? So this is the first one we're going to talk about. So for any rational numbers a and any whole numbers m and n, if a to the m power is inside parentheses and n is the exponent outside, then it's going to be equal to a m times n. We just multiply those exponents, okay? 
So that's the first power rule for exponents. Some books call it power rule A, and the next one B, and the next one C, but we'll talk about those in the, in the next video and the video after, okay? So remember, if we don't see an exponent, there's a 1 as an exponent. Because remember, 5 to the first power is equal to 5. If you don't see an exponent, consider that there's like a little invisible 1 there. So you would do 3 times 1 and 3 times 2. So we'd have 5a squared, see, 3 times. 5 times a times a, 5 times a times a, and 5 times a times a. We're doing it 3 times. And this 2 right here does not affect that 5. It's next to the a, see? So there's two a's, see? And there's only one 5, so we're going to do this 3 times because of that exponent on the outside. Well, if we had done 3 times 1 for the 5, we would have gotten the 3 exponent. And if we do 3 times 2 for the a, we get 6. And look, 1, 2, 3 5s, and 2, 4, 6 a's. So all we had to do is distribute this exponent to each value inside, and we could have had a shortcut, right? All right, so let's take a look at this one. Now we've got x to the fifth power raised to the third power. Well, all it means is three of these. It would be the same thing as if we did x 5 plus 5 plus 5. Because you remember in multiplication, we can just add the exponents. So there'd be x to the 15th power. If we have a to the fifth power raised to the 12th power, it's just a 5 times 12, a to the 60th power. Yeah, they can get pretty big, these powers. Now remember when multiplying like bases, we just add the exponents. That was the product rule for exponents. So we could do b to the third times b to the third times b to the third times b to the third. And because all of these b's are like bases, we just added the exponents and got b to the 12th. Well, the product rule for exponents, whoops, wrote it twice. The product rule for exponents says we can just multiply them. We get b to the third four times it's b to the 12th, see? Now this is a little weird and wacky. You have to be careful because if you've got two times zero and it's raised to the second power on the outside, two times zero is zero. So if you've got zero to the second power, you've just got zero times zero. That's undefined, isn't it? That's not gonna get us anywhere. And if we had two times zero to the zero power, because we learned from the zero product rule, that when a number is raised to the zero, it means one, right? Because we could have five to the third power over five to the third power. And because they're the same, we would do three, take away three, and that would equal zero. And because these are like numerator and denominator, they really equal one, don't they? So if we have any value that has a zero power, it's just gonna equal one no matter what the variable or the number is. So if we do this on the outside of parentheses, you would think that it would make it equal 1. Well, it does equal 2 times 0, but 2 times 0 is 0. See? So you've got to be very careful, all right? So remember, you multiply the outside exponent to each number or variable on the inside of the parentheses, almost like distributive property, isn't it? It's going to each one. And you can see this video's description for links to previous similar or helpful videos on this topic. Okay, it'll give you more information. So check out my description area. I've been adding a lot of links for the Algebra 1 play playlist videos. This is the first uh, subject that I thought of doing that to. So we're going to talk about the product rule for exponents, which was this guy. We're going to talk about that in the next video. Okay, I'll see you there. Bye.